In the vast and tumultuous world of ninja nations, where extraordinary powers clash in relentless battles, Naruto Uzumaki stands as an iconic hero known for his resilience and compassion. Despite the bloodshed and brutality that often accompanies the life of a ninja, Naruto's journey unfolds with a surprisingly low body count. As the central character in both the original series and the Shippuden, he is beacon of hope in the village of Konoha, facing momental challenges and enduring brutal assaults from formidable foes. In the realm of Shonen Jump, protagonists are rarely portrayed as ruthless killers. Instead, they typically uphold principles of kindness and teamwork. When enemies meet their demise in the world of Shonen manga and anime, the narrative tends to find ways to absolve the protagonist of direct responsibility for the death. Naruto adheres to this pattern, notably after his encounter with the pain. In a transformative movement, Naruto's unwavering determination and empathy leads to a change of heart in the antagonist prompting Pain to make a self-sacrifice to atone for his sins, reviving those he had previously harmed. Even Kaguya Otsuzuki, the ultimate adversary in Naruto, is sealed away rather than being obliterated. However, amidst Naruto's predominantly non-lethal journey, there exists one exception. His direct involvement in the death of a sand village jonin named as Yura. Initially believed to be a loyal member of Kazikage's council, Yura's true allegiances is unwielded when he is revealed to be a secret agent working for the Akatsuki. Pain manipulates Yura into becoming an Itachi clone, setting the stage for a faithful showdown with Naruto, Kakashi, Sakura and Chiyo. In this encounter, Yura ultimately meets his end at the hands of Naruto, succumbing to the devastating power of Naruto's giant Rasengan technique. It is indeed peculiar that Naruto, a character dedicated to preserving life, ends Yura's existence, especially when more sinister villains escape his judgment. Perhaps Yura's role was deemed insignificant enough to permit Naruto's decisive actions, or it could symbolize Naruto's growth and maturity following the time skip occurring at the outset of Naruto Shippuden. Exploring the realm of filler episodes, additional instances blurs the line of Naruto's culpability in the demise of certain characters. For instance, the hidden miss ninja Raiga met his end while being struck by Naruto's Rasengan, but his death was arguably a result of his own action, as he essentially chose to end his own life during the fall. Additionally, Naruto contributed to the defeat of Urashiki Otsutsuki in Boruto filler arc, where a collective effort led to the character's demise, albeit in a non-canon adventure. In conclusion, Naruto's character, deeply rooted in the principles of shonen manga, rarely takes the life of his own adversaries directly. The singular instance of Yura's death stands as a notable exception prompting discussions about whether the circumstances surrounding his demise could absolve Naruto of moral ambiguity. Regardless, Naruto's journey remains a testament to the value of kindness, teamwork and compassion, even in the face of world defied by violence and chaos. What are your thoughts about this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other two videos over here. And that's it, and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.